Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Crypto Busy. My name is Tom, and in today's video, I've finally got some bullish news in these unbullish times. But the first thing I want to say is again, Thank you very much for the continued support on the recent videos that we've been putting out recently. Josh and I are working around the clock to bring you guys the best news, the best possible updates, and also the best content that we can provide in the crypto space. So if you like the video, if you like the channel, if you like what we're producing, consider subscribing and yeah, join the crypto busy community. So the reason being why we've got some bullish news is because there's a number of things which are happening recently in the past few months. I think certainly we're living in pivotal times. I think life after what we're going through right now will uh, be slightly different. There will be some big changes that are going to be happening and um, we're just seeing these happening in front of our eyes at the moment. You know, we've got Bitcoin at $6,800. Um, we've got Ethereum at $150 and also XRP at just about 18 cents. These are very pivotal times in not only the crypto space, but in the financial space, in how we operate. And I've been discussing this in the past video or two about how we're getting into the fourth industrial revolution. This is a pivotal time for that. Um, and so, yeah, that, that is one of the things I want to say. In Josh's video yesterday, he was talking about how Bitcoin is one of the, the top crypto picks for 2020 in the April update. And I agree, you know, this is a this is a big thing uh, with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, with XRP, with, I would say, the top 10 cryptos that are out there. There, there is now a sentiment for the use case of of uh, of cryptocurrencies. You know, we've been seeing that, you know, in the past few years that cryptocurrencies have been traded and um, you know in retail investors have been just trading the price of bitcoin but we're starting to see the implementation of these cryptos especially with cryptos that actually have a use case built around it bitcoin is known as that, that sort of um, store of value and ethereum has a use case xrp has a use case with tether I'm, I'm not too sure about tether i'm very skeptical about it they've recently printed about 1.5 billion tether now, you know, whether they have, if you look at the market cap of Tether, whether they have $6.1 billion uh, in actual cash somewhere uh, is another question. Um, I do think it's sort of a ticking time bomb in my own personal opinion. Um, and again, with this video, with, with all of our videos, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So the first article I want to give you guys is here's why Bitcoin price is likely to be bullish. And the crux of this article is essentially talking about how the quantitative easing measures by central banks across the world will eventually decrease the value of the currencies in those countries over time. In short term, this is a good thing. You know, having quantitative easing, it helps people put money in their pockets while we go through a very difficult time. And that's that's fair. That's understandable. But eventually, over time, we are going to have to pay the price for that. So one thing that I'm predicting probably in the next year or so is just general taxes or taxation will go up incrementally because, you know, we have to pay for what we've um, been giving out right now. I think this is just a once in generational moment in our time. And um, eventually we will have to pay back uh, what we put into the system all over these years. So the big tweet from Raul Paul, got his tweet here, his Twitter page. Make sure to give him a follow. He's a, a popular investor and crypto, crypto enthusiast. And he talks about how dollars, gold and Bitcoin make the most sense later, much later, uh, just gold and Bitcoin. He's talking about sort of it in a long term view. And this ties in with the video that I put out the other day, how 2020s is sort of really the, the last year for real crypto gains. Um, and that's also tying in with um, Josh's video just from yesterday talking about the top crypto picks for 2020. Bitcoin is the top one there as well. You know, we've got big things happening for Bitcoin and not only just Bitcoin, but also other cryptos as well. Pretty much the top 10. Uh, I would say anyone out of any cryptocurrency out of the top 100, um, possibly, you know, maximum, I'd say top 200. The top 200 cryptocurrencies, I would say, are um, the ones to really look for. But um, yeah, the, the the real ones to really look at, I would say, in my personal opinion, would be the top 10. Just have a look at how that will change over the upcoming months and years. But I think the top three will certainly still stay the same. I am thinking about making a video about XRP. Can it possibly go to number one? I'll think about putting something together for that. But going back to this article here about how 2020 is an interesting year for cryptocurrency and just the markets in general is because of these quantitative easing measures. So what happens is, is that if there's a crisis of some form, the central banks, the Federal Reserve will step in and they will print money. And this is just you know printing money over and over again. And you've been hearing many cases across all these different uh, all these different places saying and all these different people saying that uh, you know they've got endless supply of money they can they have an endless supply of cash 
Well, if we just look at sort of basic economics of supply and demand, if the, the supply goes up and the demand sort of stays the same, then the value of, of that asset, in this case being the dollar, uh, will eventually go down. So yes, okay, these are good measures to have in the first place, but eventually over the long period, it's, it's not going to be looking good. Um, and this is where the real use case for cryptocurrency comes into it. And, and that's one of the main reasons why Bitcoin was made back in 2009. This is on the back of the 2008 financial crash uh, and also the idea of quantitative easing and inflation. And this is where, again, as I say, Bitcoin has that real use case. So this is where the bullish news comes into it is is um, the 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 whole conversation about the measures that are being put in the, at, in the place at the moment and what's going to be happening after that um so that's bitcoin mainly but going into the other cryptocurrencies that are out there the top 10 let's talk about xrp just real quick before i analyze this article for you guys i've got a quick clip from brad Gardinghouse in 2018 one of the things that will surprise us a year from now is that banks will be custodying digital assets directly. And I think right now we think about that and think, look, there's no way that's going to happen. Uh, they're too conservative. And I think what you're seeing is you know, two things happening. One is banks are seeing that a lot of money is being made by digital asset exchanges globally, and banks are profit motivated. Uh, the second, and as we've talked about here, so Ross has made very clear, is regulatory clarity and regulatory frameworks enable banks and financial institutions to lean into these markets. And I think uh, we will surprise ourselves by this time. Uh, and, and by the way, I'll also predict that it will be banks in the ASEAN markets where there is this regulatory clarity and there is a lot of progressive uh, forward thinking. They'll be the first to actually allow for uh, crypto assets uh, custody in their account. So Brad is talking about how um, banks are profit motivated and that in itself is a good thing because we all want to make sure that our banks stay safe. But in terms of how banks will be issuing digital assets into clients' wallets and, and such, well, that is an interesting thing. He did say that it happened from a year from now, but um, it wasn't really much of the case. But certainly I would say in the upcoming years, certainly after what's happening after um, what we're going through at the moment here, again, very pivotal times in what we're seeing. So in, in terms of what XRP is doing, in terms of what Ripple's doing, they're exactly hitting the nail on the head, in my in my opinion, in what they're doing. So another article here about crypto custody firm lists XRP for institutional clients. This is big news for XRP. It's very important that we have, you know, solid, stable clients for Ripple, for X for the use case for XRP um, and in the future because that, that is a reliable I would say a reliable uh, source of income for Ripple and and how they can provide uh, a use case in, in the real world markets. Certainly, I would say in Southeast Asia, in parts of Africa, in parts of South um, South America, where the majority of people are underbanked and you want to see those people having a bank account, having access to some form of wallet where they can build a micro, uh, micro economy going and in, in effect, in, in turn, help the economy in in those countries so that's a big thing there about being people being underbanked but the main the main point about this video is that there is bullish news out there for bitcoin for xrp for ethereum for the crypto market in general there is a point to be made here about how the all these quantitative easing measures and uh, the value of major currencies out there and how they are going to differ in the future and where you know that that void that we that we made from that that's where cryptocurrency can get involved where and again what i was saying in the previous video about how uh, in the 20s so in this current decade that we're in at the moment how we're going to be seeing real utility real world use case for these cryptocurrencies and so um, that's what i think about that again you know I, I can say i can sit here and say that yes it's all going to go up and, and it's all going to go up you know tomorrow that's not the case it's not that's not the point i'm making but in terms of the bullish case for cryptocurrency for bitcoin it still stands yes we're going to be seeing days where we're in red and you know it's not going to be the last day when we see red it's it's the market it ever changes it's a cyclical thing so you know i'm not saying that tomorrow we're going to be seeing green and forever we'll be seeing green but you know in terms of the long term I mean, we're here for the long term you know that this is this is a marathon this is not a race and so in terms of you know the short term yes there's going to be some downsides there's going to be some upsides but in long term there'll be some upsides so let me know what your thoughts are about the case for crypto about cryptocurrency about bitcoin about the top 10 cryptocurrencies i'd be interested to hear what you guys say i'll be replying to some of the comments below uh, in the video 
So um, yeah, if you like the video, give it a like. And again, so consider subscribing to the Crypto Busy community. We're going to be posting some more videos in the upcoming weeks as well. So we're working around the clock to bring you guys um, the best updates and also um, the best news and also the best analysis. So I'll leave that there with you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.